All right, ladies, so in today's video, I'm going to discuss the levels of male manipulation when it comes to dating. I put in the title first date, but this actually applies to the early stages of getting to know a man. I get hundreds of messages every week from women telling me how men pull away, how they lose interest, give you mixed signals, and you end up feeling used, weak, chasing someone who gives you the bare minimum. My name is Ismael Gomez. I'm a coach, writer, and public speaker. And I'm here to tell you ladies that you have to be very careful about who you welcome into your life. Because some men, the wrong kind, will test you in deceiving ways meant to steal your power and make you codependent. And if you want to avoid falling into that trap, pay attention to some of the red flags that I share with you in this video. So let's begin. The first way that a toxic man will test you usually begins with the phone. And one of the subtle methods is the time delay. And here's how it goes. He'll send you a text saying something like, Hey beautiful, I can't wait to see you today. Naturally, you're excited, right? So you text back right away. And then you hear nothing for hours and even sometimes a day. So while you're waiting for a reply, what usually happens is he posts something on social media, or maybe you see that he's online on WhatsApp, or you see that he read your message, right? And he knows this, he knows, and still he doesn't text back. So what do you do? What many of you do is you respond with the dreaded double text. Instead of waiting for him to reply, you send a second reply to his original message, and then he finally ends up replying. But now, the dynamics are that you're chasing him and he finally gave you his attention. So why does he do this? He wants you to be reactive. By chasing his attention, you're demonstrating that you believe that he has higher value than you and he wants to move you off center to see how you respond. Now, if he does this once, don't block him, okay? Or cut him off completely, right? Like, we always want to give the benefit of the doubt at first. Maybe he was truly busy or maybe he's the type of guy that watches a lot of this toxic dating advice online on how to get a woman. I mean, ladies, if I were to show you some of the love advice, okay, that men are being given here on YouTube, your head will explode. Actually, you know what? Let me show you a quick example. But what I can tell you is that women do not care about connection. And the more that you try to connect with a woman in order to have chemistry, the more you try to connect with a woman to have feelings of real love, or the more you try to connect with a woman in order to build something, what you're going to notice is that you will be completely punished. She will completely disrespect you. She will completely pull away from you. And on top of that, she is going to look at you as a guy who has no options. All right, so going back to our point of the time delay, don't stand for this, okay? If he does it once, call him out on it, all right? Without being dramatic or giving a big speech, you just say, hey, listen, I like people that match my level of communication when it comes to texting or calling and see what he has to say about that. If he keeps repeating the same behavior, then I suggest that you walk away. The next way that a toxic man will test you is in person during the date. And this level of manipulation can come in a variety of flavors. He might casually mention an ex-girlfriend, for example, who sounds like a supermodel or someone who's very successful. This comparison is designed to make you feel insecure and inferior. So don't be fooled by this attempt to shrink your confidence. A genuine connection is built on appreciating each other, not diminishing one another. He might also challenge you in an uncomfortable way. It could be a verbal challenge like you might share that you like pop music for example he might go on a rant about why pop music is terrible why you should never listen to it he wants to see if you're willing to stand firm in your beliefs or if you bend under pressure trying to be agreeable so that you don't offend him another version of this is a backhanded compliment you know saying something like that dress looks great but I bet it will look better in white or you're smarter than you look. I mean, many of these comments are crafted to induce overthinking and trigger anxiety in you so the other person can feel in control. And finally, on a date, he might also test you by pushing for physical intimacy. Maybe he's holding your hand, maybe it's a kiss, maybe he's more aggressive than that, but a low value man will rush to get in your pants because he wants to see how comfortable you are setting your own boundaries and how easy it is to break them when he applies pressure. Something that I can tell you is that a high value man doesn't take pleasure in forcing you into something that you're not comfortable with. He takes pleasure in knowing that you're secure enough to say yes or no and stick into it. And when you finally do say yes, 
the experience will be that much better for both of you because he knows that he's earned your trust and that now you really want to be with him. A situationship with a man is pretty much when he's getting all the benefits of a relationship without having to commit to you. Now, why would he do this? Simple, because you allowed him to. Ask your grandmother if she was ever in a situationship. Explain it to her and see what she says. By the way, this happens to men too. Don't think that this is a woman problem. But I don't know about you, but for me, it's all or nothing. Anything in the middle, I walk away from it. For our final point, we have other toxic men, or I would say immature, that tend to conceal their true feelings. No matter how interested they might be, some men will keep their feelings close to their vest because they don't want to give up their leverage. This tactic creates a harmful power dynamic that makes you feel like you're too needy or always asking for too much in the relationship. Another behavior is that after you've been dating him for a while and maybe you started being intimate already, a toxic man a lot of the times is going to pull away Way, and he's going to wait for you to start you know initiating the next date he's gonna go back to the same cat and mouse tactics leaving you on red and you feeling ghosted waiting for you to ask him to hang out and every time that you start reaching out too much he's going to pull back right and then when you start to lose interest or you start to focus on yourself then he's gonna come back again and speak to you because all the time he wants to see how you respond to see what type of reaction he can get out of you when you express anger or frustration he'll just shower you with compliments and at the same time making you feel like you're blowing things out of proportion and this emotional roller coaster is going to keep you off balance and always craving his approval again this is another Another example of toxic testing behavior that should not be tolerated in a healthy relationship. You are an equal partner, not a puppet. Because here's a behavior that you need to understand, and this applies to both men and women because I've had some women that have done it to me, is that some people will keep coming back again and again, wasting your time, not because they truly want you, they just don't want to see you happy with someone else, or they just don't want to see you happy single. So think about that when you see someone being hot and cold constantly. Remember ladies, that you deserve a genuine connection, not a game, okay? And I know that a lot of you maybe didn't have a father who taught you these things, or a brother, but you need to recognize these red flags, okay? So you can protect yourself and steer clear of men who prioritize manipulation over building a healthy relationship. Relationship. Trust your gut and don't be afraid to walk away if something feels off. The right person will appreciate you for who you are and not try to play games with your heart. I promise you that when the connection is right, everything feels almost effortless. Alright, so that's all I have for today, ladies. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. I'm glad that you've chosen me to learn about love, dating, and relationship dynamics because like I always say, for your relationships to change, you need to change. Have a beautiful day.